Taxi in the morning with Shyla and Metro, and on the phone, uh, a person that I picked, or at least I picked his band. Remember when we were doing the uh, the bracket thing where the best band was going to win out, and I stayed with Kiss out of loyalty yes. to my friends. Well, one of my friends, and in my opinion, a member of the, one of the best rock and roll bands of all time. Kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Stanley. Yes. Wow. Hey, Danny. Hey, Paul. So we, we haven't seen each other in, uh, what, a year or so? Okay, or this, is, been longer? this is going to sound so weird. I have not seen you since we both took our kids to a premiere of a Disney movie. That was the last place I saw you. Oh, my God. And that that was... Um I mean, a couple years back, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, the, the premiere was on Hollywood Boulevard, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, funny, sure. you and I have known each other so long, and I don't know how many people know this about you, and I don't even know if it's true. It's just what I was told. And uh, when I, I when I first met Kiss, I really met Gene first, and Gene introduced me to the band, and I said hi, and you waved real nicely, and we're polite, and I thought nothing of it. I, uh, you know, you just waved. But then when you left the room, Gene said, and this was 20 years ago, I'm thinking, maybe more, Gene said, Paul doesn't speak before we go on stage because of his throat. Was that a thing that you did then that you no longer do? Because I've heard you now speak right before going on stage. Well, you know, part of it is that Gene doesn't let anybody speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, you, you know Gene better than I do. I, I, I have met Gene so many times, and, and luckily, and just like with you, I've had my daughter Isabella with me, that she actually refers to him as Uncle Gene. We're not really nearly that close. She just makes it, thinks it makes her sound really cool. Well, you know what? I also refer to him as Uncle Gene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right about Blaine. Is he, is he a talker, that guy? Well, it's very funny because, you know, he lives about five minutes from me, and I say I can see his ego from my house. <laughs> that is, that's so funny because he invited me to do uh, his reality show, and I'm sitting at his dinner table and his home with 12 other guys or so you'd recognize from different oh, television right. shows. I, I remember he told me about that. But nobody speaks but Gene. It's well, like, why did you invite me to do your TV show and just keep talking at me? Yeah, and nobody speaks because there's no air left in the room. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was a reason that I was hard to light my cigarettes. There was no oxygen for the match. There hey, you go. You know, with Gene, it's not about a conversation. He wants you to listen. Right. That's exact. And I, you know what? I, I understand his point of view because we're on the radio, so it's very important that people listen. But it's very important that people understand. I'm talking to Paul Stanley from Kiss, man. That 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 is that's it's kind of it's funny. I've known you as well as I've known you, and I actually have another connection to you besides you know knowing you from Kiss, meeting you backstage twenty different times, seeing you at the movie premiere with our kids. I couldn't believe that. I was, I was looking at this thing, getting ready for the interview, and Amy said, "Oh yeah, I used to teach Evan. I think in the third grade." My gosh! Yeah. So, wow. Wow. So we're like we're almost like family. Hey, now. hey you know we 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 are brothers <laughs> by so, different mothers. Yeah, let me tell everybody why we are talking to Paul Stanley. Although we're a rock and roll station, and what other possible Absolutely. excuse could you need to talk to Paul Stanley of Kiss? But Paul has uh, another talent, and if and who's ever doing your press, by the way, is very smart. If I saw. Uh, not because you're a friend of mine, I'd stay polite. But if I saw a huge rock star wants to be a painter, I'd roll my eyes and then do the interview to be nice. Who's ever sending out your press is sending out pictures of some of your work. And it's really good. I'm looking at, I don't know what you would title it, but it, it's your impression of the Statue of Liberty. And it's oh, no, yeah. there's no missing it. It's not like an impression of the Statue of Liberty where you hope. There's no title here that says it's the right. Statue of Liberty. It looks like the Statue of Liberty. But then altered enough that you see there's somebody specific style in this Statue of Liberty. In this case, it would be Paul Stanley's. It's really good, man. Well, it's, you know, it's funny because um, when I first started out, you know, I, you know, I'd say to people I paint, and they go, houses, um, cars. <laughs> Your you know, face. Yeah, <laughs> my face. I, I've gotten good at that. But, um, you know, I mean, I, let's see, in the, in the past two years, I've probably done close to 30 shows. I do one almost every month. And, uh, you know, according to the tallies that come back, I mean, I, I couldn't be doing much better. I mean, it's it's kind of humbling to, to have, you know, something that you just do as, a, as a, an outlet. You know, I mean, I just wanted something that was mine and uh, was more personal. Um, and all of a sudden have it blow up into what it is now. It's it's uh, pretty staggering, you know, when, when people are talking about seven figures, you know, for, for the year, multiple seven figures. So, you know, it's 
pretty crazy. And, you know, that means zeros on the right side of right. the decimal point, <laughs> not <laughs> on the left. Very nice. Hey, I, just want, I haven't said that to anybody yet. Uh, Paul Stanley is coming to town Friday, May 15th. Uh, between 7 and 9 to show off his artwork, and Saturday, May 16th, between 5 and 8 p.m., Paul Stanley will be with his paintings and sculptures, something I've always wanted to do, and limited edition artwork at Wentworth Galleries in the Court of King of Prussia, better known to us as the King of Prussia Mall. Right. Now, do you often go on tour with your art and you do I, personal shows? Yeah, once a month. Once a month I go out. That's that's uh, once a month. I mean, we just came back. Kiss just came back from South America. We just did a a huge sold out tour of, of stadiums down there. Everybody been checked for the swine flu. Apparently, that's <laughs> big news around here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, my little one Colin is walking around right now with a with a stuffed pig. So. I'm hoping uh, <laughs> that's not a, a, a sign of things to come. It's not some kind of cosmic signal. If you're just joining us, we're talking with Paul Stanley. Uh, it, it's it, it's like saying to me, and I don't mean this to be blasphemous from any rock point of view. I just mean to say the name and then bother to say the band. It's like, we're standing here with Paul McCartney from some band called The Beatles. I mean, the words Paul Stanley are enough, but I would be remiss, I guess. I'm talking to Paul Stanley from KISS, lead, uh, lead guitarist, lead singer. And uh, he's coming to the King of Prussia Mall to show his artwork and the three prints that I am seeing right here. It's not, it's not, hey, I'm a rock star, now I'm going to be a painter or a sculptor or do this just because I say so. Because you're going to draw the crowds no matter what if your name is Paul Stanley. But the fact of the matter is, and I, you know, the King of Prussia Mall is... Oh, 20 minutes from my house. I will put my reputation on the on the line here and say, if you go there, you'll be impressed. You'll get to meet Paul Stanley if you're, you know, a serious buyer. But you'll go, wow. Okay, he wasn't kidding around. This guy can really paint. This guy's a real live artist. So you're coming to town. You'll be at the uh, King of Russia Mall Friday, May 15th from 7 to 9, and Saturday, May 16th from 5 to 8, showing off your paintings and uh, showing off your sculptures. And they are, of course, uh, up for sale and uh, apparently highly valued in the art world. Now, Paul, I have to ask you, too, with the KISS stuff, I mean, you have that uh, whole thing going right now where people, are they still voting as far as what town yeah. for you guys to come to? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's been incredible. You know, we, we sent a message back to the states from South America basically saying, listen, you know, stand up and be counted. You tell us where you want us, and, and we'll, we'll show up. So, now, uh, what's your thought as far as, because what we had heard is that Canada was, like, kicking ass in this thing, and there wasn't, like, a lot of U.S. cities that were representing. Well, the way it started was really the, the focus was more on Canada, and um, I think it, it kicks into second gear this coming week and and the focus will 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 change dramatically but uh you know the the, the votes will start to to come in in slews from from the states but and you can hey, vote you know, online by the way at kissonline.com that's kissonline.com and i didn't mean to interrupt but I, everybody might think this is kind of hypocritical of me we did a thing where they said they're going to have the wolverine premiere of the wolverine movie or whatever it's called in some city, and it could be Philadelphia or Phoenix, Arizona, or this city or that city. And I said, we don't win Wolverine. We're Philadelphia. I'm looking out at the Liberty Bell and the Declaration of Independence. We don't enter contests to win movie stars. I would really like to win Kiss. Yes. Okay, so I don't want to win a movie star, but I'd really like Kiss to open here so I can go see him for the 27th time. So go to kissonline.com if you'd like to vote for Philly. The show's been phenomenal. I mean... You know, we, we played last year, we did about 400,000 people in Europe, the biggest tour we've ever done. Um, just finished South America. We're finishing uh, our first album in 10 years, um, which will be out in September, which I'm producing, and sounds as good, you know, if not better than some of the, the, the vintage stuff. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just having a grand old time. Can I tell you this? Uh, for those of you that don't know, I mean, if you're not... A huge Kiss fan like I am, and this is not, I mean, you've heard me say, we play some music on the show that is not my of my choice. Well, none of the music that we play is my choice. My boss tells us what to play, and we play it, and I like most of it. It is, our slogan is the rock you grew up with. 